Good morning, friends. Welcome to greeting time and message board. Let's sing our good morning song. Good morning, Nayana. Good morning, Nayana. Good morning, Nayana. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Dominic. Good morning, Dominic. Good morning, Dominic. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Callie. Good morning, Callie. Good morning, Callie. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Liam. Good morning, Liam. Good morning, Liam. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Adrian. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Renard. Good morning, Renard. Good morning, Renard. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Damien. Good morning, Damien. Good morning, Damien. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Raina. Good morning, Raina. Good morning, Raina. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Hi, friends. How are you all doing? I hope you had a wonderful long weekend and did some exciting and fun things for Independence Day or the 4th of July. Maybe you saw some fireworks or you ate some barbecue food or something like that. So I hope you all had fun. Miss Ree did. Miss Ree had a barbecue and I saw some more fireworks with my kids. We made some s'mores around the campfire and that was so much fun and so delicious. Have you ever had s'mores? S'mores is when you roast marshmallows and you put them on graham crackers with chocolate. And it is such a wonderful and delicious dessert. So today, Miss Ree is going to talk to you. We have a new month. It used to be June, but since the last time I talked to you, it turned to the month of July. And July is the number seven month of the year. So I'm gonna switch our sign here. Ooh, I gotta take off June. And I couldn't find my July sign. So I'm gonna make a little sign to tell us that it is July. J, J. What letter does July start with? J, J. What letter makes the J sound? If you said J, you're right. July starts with the letter J. July is our month. And what is something that would represent the month of July? Hmm. I know, how about fireworks? So I'm gonna draw some fireworks. I'm gonna draw my fireworks blue and red. So let's see, how would I draw fireworks? Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. They explode and they're beautiful colors. Does that look like a firework? I don't know if it looks like a firework, but Miss Ree tried. So there's my month of July and there's my firework. And what season are we in, friends? The season is summer and we know that it's summer because it's sunshiny and hot outside. We can go outside without any coat on and be nice and warm and toasty. Today it is very sunny and it is warm right now, but a little bit later today it's gonna get very hot. So if you go outside, make sure you drink lots of water. And if you're gonna be outside for a long time, wear sunscreen because we don't want our skin to get hurt. Let's talk about our day of the week. What is today, friends? Well, today is our number two day of the week. And our number two day of the week is Tuesday. So if today is Tuesday, that means yesterday was Monday and tomorrow is going to be Wednesday. What happens on Wednesday, friends? We have our group Zoom meeting. So I hope you all come and join Miss Ree tomorrow on Wednesday for our group Zoom meeting where we are going to be doing some exploding colors experiments. That will be so much fun. So let's sing our days of the week song. Here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. One more time, friends. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. Excellent. And today is Tuesday. Welcome to this lovely sunshiny Tuesday. So friends, we've been talking about our numbers. And the numbers we talked about last week were one, two, three, four, and five. I hope that you've been practicing counting to five and looking around and finding groups of things of five, counting out five. And this week we're gonna count all the way up to 10. 10 is two hands, five is one hand, 10 is two hands. We got five fingers on one hand, one, two, three, four, five. And we got five fingers on the other hand, one, two, three, four, five. And all together, that's 10. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Would you like to sing a song with me? I have a song about that. Let's do it. How do you count? I'm one hand. How do you count? I'm one hand. How do you count? I'm one hand. Let's count it out together. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count it out together. How do you count? On two hands, how do you count? On two hands, how do you count? On two hands, let's count it out together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I want you all to practice that song. That's so much fun. And it helps you to work your fingers. You gotta think about it real hard and work real hard to get your fingers to move like that. So here we go. Let's count together to 10, friends. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten! Woo! I love it when you count with me. So I want everybody to practice this week counting to ten. Another thing that we're going to be talking about this week are the things that make us so unique and how we need to love ourselves and all the things that make us special. And then Miss Ree was thinking about, hmm, what are some of the things that make me special or different from other people? And I thought of one really good thing that makes me different from everybody else. And let me show you. Look at my pinkies. You see how my pinkies are curving? My pinkies curve out like that. Look at your pinkies. Do your pinkies do that or are your pinkies straight? Are you different from Miss Ree or are your pinkies the same as Miss Ree's? I think Miss Ree's pinkies are unique. And I love that about myself. What is something about yourself that you think is different or unique or something that you really, really like about yourself? Maybe you can jump super, super high, or maybe you know how to skip, or maybe you can ride a bike with no help, or maybe you can sing very well. What are some of the things that make you special that you like about yourself? I want you all to think about that this week, and then maybe tomorrow, when we have our group Zoom meeting, we can talk about some of the things that you like about yourself. Another thing that goes along with the things that make us unique and different are the way that we feel. And I know that a few weeks ago, Miss Connie read you all this book, The Color Monster. And when Miss Connie and Miss Reed dropped off some supplies for you at your houses, we gave you this book. So I want you all to have somebody read you this book or even if you don't have somebody to read you the book you can look at the book yourself and the thing about this is it talks about the unique emotions that you might be having 
emotions are feelings and how you feel inside, like happy or sad or scared. And then Miss Re and Miss Connie also gave you this paper. And Miss Re hung this up in her house for her daughter Elia. I know a lot of you know who Elia is. And when you are feeling a certain way, or even when you wake up in the morning, you can point and show everybody how you're feeling. So when we look and read the book, we find out that yellow means happy, and red means angry, and blue means sad, he's crying, and gray means afraid, he's feeling very afraid, and green means calm. He's feeling like he is very calm and like everything's just good. And then pink is love. That's how you feel when you just want to go give your mommy a hug. So I want you to think about that. And maybe you can hang this up in your house and let everybody know how you're feeling. Today, Miss Re is feeling green. I'm feeling calm. I'm feeling like I'm not too worried about anything and I'm just relaxed and happy and going along with the day. So why don't you look at your book or at this picture that Miss Rhea or Miss Connie gave you and tell us all how you're feeling. Tell your mama or whoever is with you how you're feeling, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your babysitter, whoever is with you, let them know how you're feeling. And that is something that is unique to you, that makes you different. Because you might be feeling different from somebody else. Miss Rhea is feeling calm and maybe you're feeling sad. So that's another way that we are different from each other. And I just want us all to think about the ways that we're different, the ways that we're the same, and all the things that we like about ourselves. So thank you friends for coming to see me today. Practice your counting one to 10 and think about the one thing that makes you special that you really like about yourself. So you can tell us all at our group Zoom meeting tomorrow. I'm gonna blow you a kiss, catch it, put it on your cheek, and I'll see you either tomorrow or next week. Have a great day.